Hello and welcome to this Open TX Quick Tip. Now I have a complete series of quick tips that you can go and watch that teach you all about what Open TX radios are capable of. And this one is an update of one I did a while ago that talks about how you can mix a little bit of the flap channel into the elevator channel. Why would you want to do that? Well, if you're flying a fixed wing, you probably know that sometimes when you deploy the flaps, the nose of the model will cant either up or down. You'll get a, a nasty pitch reaction. And with the radio, it's kind of handy to dial in a little bit of correction on the elevator on the back of the plane so that that's taken care of. So as you deploy the flaps, that little bit of correction is also added just to keep the plane flying straight and level. Now, the amount of correction that you need tends to be a little bit iterative. And the way you can do it is you kind of just uh, deploy the flaps, hold the stick in the position so it flies straight and level, take the flaps off, and you make kind of spots where the stick was, and then you look at how much that value is and kind of add that in manually. Kind of works, it's not great. But there is a way that you can set it up. So on a little rotary control, you can kind of dial in exactly the amount that you need without having to have somebody else looking over your shoulder to see where you physically hold the elevator either forward or back to correct for that uh, pitch that you get by deploying the flaps. And this is something I've had a number of requests for. So let's jump onto the computer and I'll show you how to set it up. So here we are on the computer. Let me just show you what I'm talking about. So here is a very basic version that I went through in that original video. So in the mixes, what we're doing is uh, we have a channel that's set to control the flaps. And what we're doing is we're adding a little bit of that channel, that flap channel, into the control for the elevator. And we're just using an offset and a weight of a little bit. So if I just simulate that, hopefully you can kind of see all that on the screen okay um, as I deploy the flaps on SC you can see channel 5 is moving and you can also see that it's adding in a little bit onto channel 3 as well and this is one of the cool things you can do though on TX you can actually add the outputs on other channels in the mixer onto other ones so by just doing this by uh, I've called it flap adjust or F adjust uh, the out source is channel 5, which is this one here. Uh, just give me a little bit, but also offset it as well. Now, the reason that I've offset it, if I set that to zero, then the way it works is that watch what happens to my elevator. It actually goes, can you see that? It goes minus 10 and plus 10. And we, we only want the correction in the direction that we're interested in. So it may be that um, we want a a positive correction or if you wanted a negative correction you change the numbers down to the negative numbers but let's just leave it like that for now so now as I'm flying along if I deploy half flaps I get a little bit of correction on my elevator and to change the amount then what I do is I just come in and I change this number however uh, there's loads of different ways that you can do this again this is just one example there's always at least two usually three or more ways to do it this just happens to be the way that I tend to do it here so here's a uh, slightly cleverer version so this time again the flaps on channel 5 are on switch SC okay and you can see there's a little bit of correction going on there so as I deploy the flaps you get a little bit of correction and a little bit more however what I can do is if I deploy the flaps and find that that is a bit too much I can dial back that correction on channel 3 or if I find it isn't enough I could increase the amount by using one of the rotary controls and it gives me a little bit of opportunity while I'm flying just to fix that so it's straight and level. So let me show you how I've done it. Now whenever you're trying to figure something out in OpenTX uh, the trick is always to have a look at these things I like where you have the ability to select lots of different options and global variables is one of the ways to do it now global variables have a complete another video on that global variables are really handy for being things that you can use to change stuff dynamically so if we say the offset and the weight is set by a global variable 
If we change that global variable in OpenTX, then this weight and offset is dynamically changed as well. So where you kind of change things like global variables is in places like special functions. So I've set this switch to be on a just global variable one. The source is channel 10. Now, the reason that I've done that is because actually what I want, I've set up channel 10 to just be the rotary switch S1 on the radio, which is the one you saw me twiddling virtually. And uh, this time we've set up the weight and the offset. And these are just going to dial the, the amount of it back. Now, because normally the rotary control is going to go from minus 100 to plus 100, we're not going to need that huge range to adjust a little bit of elevator trim. So we can dial that back. And again, I'm using 10 and 10 so that we only have it in one particular direction. So what that means is you watch, watch what's happening on channel 10 and you might have spotted it. So here's channel 10 here on the right hand side. As I move S1, see it's actually moving. And that channel 10 is what we're then using to become a global variable. Because if it's a global variable, I can use it in here and it can dynamically adjust the amount of adjustment that's coming through. Now, there's probably a much more elegant way to do this. And if you know it, pop it in the comments down below. So special functions. So now what we're doing is we're adjusting the global variable from channel 10. So the value of channel 10, which as we've seen, changes with the rotary switch position, becomes the global variable and the offset. And that offset is what is used to then change the amount of uh, tweaking trim, you should call it for the flaps on the elevator channel. So now I can turn it right the way down and have nothing. If it turns out the plane is beautifully balanced and when you deploy the flaps, nothing has happened. More regularly, you're probably going to need a little bit of trim and this way with this setting, it will go all the way up to 20. If you needed more, then of course you could in your mixes uh, change the global variable weights and things like that. And if it's going in the wrong direction, then what you could do is in channel 10 is you could again change these to be negative numbers and have a go and do it that way. But hopefully that helps. That's the way that I would do it. I would use a rotary control, turn that rotary control into a global function and then use that global function as a dynamic way to instantly change the amount of weight and offset for a particular control so that you can dynamically assign trim to elevator when you deploy flaps just by turning S1. Thank you for watching my video and watching right to the very end. If you want to find out what I'm currently working on, you can follow me on social media by searching for Painless360 in the usual places. If you'd like to become part of the inner circle, then you can become a Patreon. Details are in the description and you get lots of additional benefits. Check out the playlist section on the channel too. I organize all of my videos into playlists and it's called something like Introduction to or for Beginners. All of the content is aimed so that you can start at the very beginning and it teaches you that subject, starting with simple principles and moving up to teach you everything you need to know.